as you know, my name is Graham. And I'm just going to hopefully connect with your loved ones, that's all right. And we'll see how we go. So the way it normally works for me is like a little telephone call and they play around my head and I relay it back to you, but I'm just going to describe who I've got for you. Is that all right? Good stuff. Yeah. First, thank you. It's all right, you can talk. It's all right, you're allowed. Just this once. Okay, the first person that I've got through is I've got a young man coming through and he would have been on a motorbike. He's telling me that towards the end of his time, um, his personality and his feelings inside would have gone up and down. Um, he's telling me that he's a young lad, um, a good looking guy as well, and that he had everything to live for but he just didn't feel it completely in his own mind. The motorcycle accident was an accident, thank you. Um, it wasn't Everyone kept saying, did he do it himself? And there was like unanswered questions all the time with this. Um, but it was just literally an accident. The advisor um, steamed up and he's telling me that he was on medication as well, that he actually forgot to take. Um, I feel that it would have been down like a, maybe a country road or a quiet road um, where he hit um, and made contact. Everyone, the person here um, would feel that he had died on his own. He didn't. There was a lady there. Um, that kept an eye on him. Would somebody understand him, please? You need to put your hand in what happened here. Would you understand that? I can't see it, but thank you. Oh, you get that. So, as I, <laughs> as, as I connected with him now, he's telling me that he was all, always knew in his heart where he wanted to go. That's how he was, but then he always got a little bit, he said, but lately you've been very, very angry and you've not been telling people. You've been keeping all these mixed emotions inside. Would that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Would you also understand the connection with him would be your son, please? Yeah. Would you also understand the things you keep asking is, where is he? He's with his grandfather, which will be your father. Yeah. Grandfather. Yeah. Does that make sense? Your dad's still this side of life, yeah. right? But you'd understand grandfather, please? Yeah. And you must be quite close with him as well, then. Yeah. Right. So he's telling me that as well. Has your dad been a bit up and down in health-wise, please? Because that's what he's telling me. He, well, don't think, sorry. He's telling me that he's a bit worried about him, but more worried about you. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. Right. He's also worrying about the fact of people find it hard to talk about him. Yeah. And he said that on this side of life, everyone was always moaning about me. Everyone always had something to say. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And he said now everyone's more quiet. People aren't actually talking how they're meant to be yeah. chatting. I want the conversation to start flowing again. Does that make sense? Yeah. He's also referring to his mum as well, please. Yeah. And you're still in contact with her. Yeah. But you still... He, he, he wants the contact to continue, that's what he wants. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. But you won't want to talk to her because it's all up and down, yes? <coughs> right. But he says that he's like, she's either trying to... Well, she wants to talk to you and, and, and chat with you um, just because she wants to talk about you too. Does that make sense? Yeah. Was there an argument over a photograph as well, please? Yeah, because he keeps going on about all these different arguments and everything else. He said, there's just no need right now, is there? And just so you know, when you always know where he is, he's always around you. He's always wanting to make sure you're right. Do you get occasional nosebleeds as well, please? Where's the nosebleeds? So he's on about the nosebleeds, not him, to you. Do you get like, oh, see, when I get a nosebleed, I get like pressure here. Do you get like, feel pressure in the front of your face? Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Because the way that he makes me feel is that there's a pressure here or a feeling across here. Yeah, no, I... But you understand it? No, 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 it makes sense. No, 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 it's not right. Because he's telling me that he comes so close to you that he's like literally, ah, oh, but you and he would have had like, not arguments, like, chat, and you two would have got quite close at some stage. Um, no, not in arguments, but. It's sort of like, he's making you feel like it's face to face, like quite close, that's how he's telling me. Yeah, I can understand each other. Right. So when he tells you, this is what he's telling me, I come in close to your face. Right. To tell you that I'm here. And he always gives you a kiss on the cheek too. Yeah, you. To make sure you're all right, okay? But he's okay. He wants you to know I am okay. All right? I'm with granddad. I've got Nan there. I'm happy. I'm okay. Right. And I can get all these little bits. He still loves his motorbike. He's still flying around on quite happy. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Great. And he says, you know, the little bits that you've kept regarding the accident, what happened around there, he said that's okay too. And I feel like the news that you heard now, it sort of calmed your mind a little bit more as well now. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, because the thought of him taking his own life, I didn't do that, it was just an accident. No, we did that. My stupidity. Yeah. I should have took the tablet, and I should have cleaned my eye or two. Yeah. 
Okay? Yeah. But apart from that, I just want to say that he loves you so much, okay? Yes. And that he always loves you. Is that right? Thank you. No, you're coming now. Right, lady I've got you. She's lovely, I like you. Right. She's nice, she's lovely. But she comes with a scruffy man. Um, and that's in the Honestly. So I've got the scruffy man that comes with a lady. The lady is quite strong in character and she's a lovely lady and she'll tell you what's what straight away. But he's sort of like, he sort of moans all the time. And I know that they're together. And I know that he's a bit scruffy. That's the way I want to describe it. I feel like he wasn't always, but towards the end of his time, he got really scruffy. And he would have got forgetful as well and thoughtless. Couldn't always remember anything as well. I feel like there would be, I'm not sure, I feel like there would be a name like Phyllis or something sounding like Phyllis. Phyllis, if you know Phyllis, I, I, I know that I won't go with that. Where are we there, please? Anyone? Oh, I like it. Oh, what, where? Yeah. Oh, no, you're right. Cool. You don't understand the scruffy man, though, I like him. Um, my dad got You don't know who, who, but you don't understand the scruffy man? Yeah. Right. Yeah. But would you understand that he used to be really quite smart looking? Yeah. But then towards the end of his time, he got quite scruffy. Yeah. That's it. But he, was, he makes me laugh because when I was out there earlier, we were like, what are you doing here, mate? God, what's going on? But that's how he was talking. But I'm not sure if he wasn't really going on. He wasn't always into all of this, was he? Didn't quite understand it. No. But well, it was a bit like, you know? Got that. But he keeps saying the name Phyllis or Felicity, please. That's, yeah, that's me. Oh. So he's shouting that out. Does that make sense? But yeah. the other name would be Mum, then, please. That he yeah, comes with, yeah. yeah. Because as he comes with mum, she's more like she'll just tell you straight. No airs and graces with her, is there? <laughs> well, I don't remember because she's a long time. Okay, well, she would like she'll just tell you straight. I'm gonna tell you, it's just like that, and that's it. She went, you know. But together they were. Does that make sense? Yeah. They would row like cat and dogs all the time, and I feel like she got unwell, and she knew that she was unwell, but she never really showed it. Never really wanted people to know. They want people to feel sorry for her. I don't like people feeling sorry for me. There's no point, she says. And her action is when you're gone, you're gone. And that's it. Does that make sense? Yeah. And she says, no point worrying about everybody else or everyone else worrying about me. She said, oh, no, that, <coughs> that it's more important, she said, that I make sure everyone else is okay. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But with him, oh God, he would tell the world, wouldn't he? Yeah. Oh, I'm not well, don't you know it? Oh, all this going on. Oh, I don't feel well. Blows his nose, just pops the tissue down. <laughs> that's him, isn't it? Hello. <laughs> That makes sense. And he's got a thing about putting tissues down everywhere. Yeah. He likes putting his tissues down. Does that make sense? Right, so she's telling me, I like that. Together, they're just telling me that you're getting really like up and down with yourself. Your mood's like either really good or really bad. Yeah. There's no like in between with you. Does that make sense? Yeah. I also feel that you're worrying more about other people than yourself. Yeah. Okay. And as you worry about other people, it gets you to the stage of where you're crying and getting really, really upset. Right? And I get that. And I get also that I get a that you don't like people going too far away from you either. Yeah. Not that you're a control freak, though, but it's just that <laughs> <laughs> you worry about going too far away, because if they go too far away, you worry about them even more. Yeah. I know. Yeah. And, even if, okay, and even if they're in your company, you're one of these things. Does that make sense? And she says it's never going to change, is it? No. It's always going to be like that, doesn't it? I don't know if it's like you say your prayers, but I feel like you have a moment every day to yourself. Like prayers. I say a prayer okay. every night. Because that's the thing that I got, that I wanted to say a prayer. And I wanted to pray for everybody else. So you never pray for yourself, she said. No. Never once. She said, well, start praying for yourself. Because they'll listen to you even more because they won't know that you're okay too. So it's not that you're being thinking about yourself, she said. It doesn't mean that. It's a selfish act, it's not at all, but it's nice that you think about yourself too. But she has a laugh with you, because when you go shopping, your bag stick. Because you've got too much in. <laughs> Stuff it all in, you won't pay for another five p will you? <laughs> <laughs> but you just stuff it all in, stuff it all in, and then, and then your bag gets close to breaking, doesn't it? Exactly. So she says, you know, when you say your prayers, just please mention your name. I feel like you worry about your son quite a lot as well. My grandson. Grandson. Okay. But is he like his son to you? Yeah. And I feel like his son. Yeah. And just know that he'll be okay. Because, you know, he's just got to find his feet and then he'll be off. He'll be, he'll be all right. Because he'll only be at 100 mile an hour anyway, won't he? Okay. Yeah. So it's okay. All right? And he'll be fine. Who's Matthew, please? My friend's son. Okay. He's a bit out of luck at the moment, isn't he? Not I'm, doing well. I'm really not sure. I don't know. Well, they worry about it. So, can you just keep an eye on him for me? 
Thank you. And that will be important, okay? Yes, we'll send a photo that you look at and that you talk to. They understand what you've been asking as well. And they're going to work it, but it's going to take a little bit longer than what you think. You want it done in half hours, so it might take a few days. Okay. But they will get it there for you, okay? Yeah. And that's what's more important. Do you understand that? Yes, and, I do. But <laughs> just understand it inside here that you just got to allow things to happen as well. All right? Yes. And that really more than love you. Is that all right? Thank you. Thank you. I'm standing in the corner. I'm like, oh, that little thing is there. I never know where. Oh, dear. Right, okay. First of all, I've got Belle. I've got a nice lady. She's coming through. And I, and I feel like her time would have, been, would have been this time of the year that she passed. I also feel that she left. I kept falling over, please. Still this side of life. Anyone out there? Think about tadpoles. You've got a son, love. I have, yeah. Do you understand him with the tadpoles? Yeah. I and he watched them. The funny thing was, he watched them waiting for them to become frogs. <laughs> and he thought it'd be instant, but it takes ages, doesn't it? Yeah. And then when he came back, they had little legs, and he was like, oh. Yeah. And then when he came back, he thought, oh, there's a tail. And it was like, it was like blow by blow going on what was happening. It was funny, I like that. That's cool. Would she have been wheelchair bound or something to do with a wheelchair, please? Yes. Right, because what she just did is she just wheeled on me and with her wheelchair, so I don't need that anymore. So I run people over, which she would have done this other way, didn't she? <laughs> so she said, I just push it along so I don't need it, she says. Does that make sense? Yeah. She keeps saying to me with you, oh, I don't understand. She tells me that you sleep upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like sleep up the wrong side of the bed? No. Or, right, I've got it. You know your sofa? Yeah. She, if she laid, she would lay so she could see the telly. If you lay this way. Oh, yeah. That's awkward, she says. <laughs> sort it out. That's not good. So what you do is you're like, lay like that. And she yeah. says, no, 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 that will do her head in. Do her neck in and everything. Not good. That's when she plays with your telly. Oh, okay. In that way. And is it your knee that she's laying you up to? Left. You have that thing. Left one. No. Right. Yeah. You got that one. No, your left one. one. No, right one. Come here, I'll kick you out. <laughs> <laughs> so I would rather my left one. So if I say, oh yeah, that'd be right, okay. But she says she's going to help you with a bit of healing for that as well. Thank you. Get you a little bit better. Does that make sense? Yeah. Whatever words you've been saying to somebody, it's actually started to sink in at long last, she says. Oh, okay. She said, have a cup of tea with them, and you know what? It will all start sinking in, and it'll all get better as well. Do you understand that? And that's what makes it more important. Apart from that, she's all right. She's chatting away. Doris as well, please. Yes. Yeah, she, she chats with Doris. But she says, does her anything, just try to avoid her a little bit as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about her, isn't it? Exactly that. Like. Of course. And you have a picture of Doris as well, which you find strange. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it's nice that you're part of the fan club for Doris as well. So she said, it's alright, Doris ain't it, so you're alright. <laughs> when you lay, you get like this cold breeze going over you. You know when you were a child, mum would always make sure she put the blanket over you to make sure you're okay. She still does it now. Okay. Just to make sure you're okay. So when you get this cold breeze, just know that she's putting the blanket up and tucking you up, making sure you're all right. She said it'd be nice if you had a cover on the duvet to <laughs> find you. <laughs> <laughs> because the way that she looks at it is like, oh really? Don't be bothered then. <laughs> when you be better, you've got a cupboard full of it. She said he's not here. <laughs> anyway, then she said, when you get home, stick a cover on it and she'll make sure she's fine now. Um, where are we going? Michael. Oh, Michael. I did get to know Michael, please. I feel like I was here one minute, gone the next. There was just no in between. She was boom, boom, boom. I feel like it would have either been a car that hit me or I feel like it would have been something like this. Oh, shit. There I go. I'm gone. Who would understand that? Do you know I'm over here somewhere? No? Oh, Michael. If, if also if there's somebody, please, that would have taken his life, though, as well. I feel like Michael would have been a conversation that goes on within the area, but this other guy would have taken his life as well, please. I feel like it would have been, um, he tried it four times and never succeeded completely, and then, he, and then he didn't want to. He keeps pointing me over this way. Who would understand it? This way. Over this way. Do you understand? But you'd understand Michael as well. No, but you'd understand the talk of someone that... Got stupidly run over. But you get that. But I'll talk about the other one, he took his life. Does that make sense? I feel like he's tried it a few times. Does that make sense? I'm going to get a mic to you eventually. Hold on. There you go. 
Is that alright? Can I hear your voice? Then I'll be alright. Hello? Everybody there? <laughs> See if I can stand the gentleman, please. That would have taken his time. Does that make sense? Right. So, Mike's not really irrelevant, but he wants you to know that he's with somebody else. I feel like if he ever went anywhere, he had to take someone else with him. Michael was his friend. Alright, so you get that. Right. But you understand this gentleman would always take somebody with him as well. He'd never go anywhere on his own. Yeah. You know, like my girl goes to the toilet with somebody else, he's like that. Really. <laughs> so, makes that up. This is what he's telling me. He's a right laugh, isn't he? Yeah. And he likes to giggle, doesn't he? Yeah. Somebody ripped one of the arms of his jacket, but he still wore it. That's right. I know. And he tells me this. And he also, as he tells me this as well, there was always that thing about you, weren't there? Yeah. You know, like when you win a race, I got it, and you get that trophy, so but I never really got to have the trophy all the time. He was my best friend. I know. But he's that. Uh, he just wanted you completely. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Exactly. You've been listening to quite a lot of dodgy music lately, please. <laughs> he ain't impressed. <laughs> it ain't the sort of thing he listens to. No, it's not. Exactly that. And he said, it's all right, I'll let you listen to it. But he's like that when you're listening to it. And he'll make the CD <laughs> jump. Is it? Well, CD, I don't know. My guy still keeps CD. It keeps stopping. He makes it jump. That's what I said. And the reason he makes it jump is because he's annoyed you. <laughs> Although he's been known to play Lord West live tune as well, even now, privately. Who, me or him? Him. Never heard it from him. No, privately, that's what he just said. <laughs> you, privately, you've got a few of their albums, yeah? Anyway, <laughs> he's telling me he keeps referring to a dress that he never got to see you wear it, but he must have gone shopping with you to get it. Do you understand the dress, please? I, don't, I feel like the, the colour that you keep showing is either a yellow or a greeny colour. I feel like he would have known that you got it but never saw you in it. Green is my favourite colour. Okay, you got a green dress? It's not what I know. Are you sure? Okay. Let's go around the house. Oh, we'll all go. <laughs> got a minibus outside. He keeps on about the green dress, please. I never got to see her wear it. Right, if I got this right, do you like always wear things? You never wear clothes for the event, so you just wear what you feel comfortable in. Yes, right. Right. And I feel like there's either something that's coming up or something around the corner that you need to go to. That's what you're feeling. And he keeps showing me, it? and he keeps showing me this green dress. So if you haven't got it, I feel like you're going to come shopping with me love to get it. You need to come shopping with me. Right. I also feel like his eyelashes are quite important to acknowledge as well, please. I think they're better than yours, that's what they he are. says. <laughs> he says, I could curl them if I wanted to. And I, I feel like he really wants, I feel like he wants me to tell me that he has the best eyelashes in the world. Yeah. Nobody's eyelashes will ever get as good as his. Is that right? That's right. I know. And I don't know if somebody has written his name on their skin as a tattoo, but he's aware of it now. Yeah, that's right. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And he says, it's all right, but it's a bit of a dodgy tattoo though, isn't it? It's, it's not brilliant, is it, love? I think it is, actually. <laughs> well, it might be a receipt, do <laughs> but, but you understand the tattoo. Yeah. And he tells you that. He also tells me it's about time you got behind the wheel of a car again as well. Okay. okay. And he says, you saw why it's used to drive again, girl. He says, because when you're out there, just leave all the dodgy music behind. <laughs> because what will happen is, and I get it, is when you're in cars with him, you'll have the window down and you'll sing along and you'll forget that you're in traffic. <laughs> and you're still single. So that's what he's telling me. But he says, you know, I want you to feel happy when you talk to me or talk about me. Does that make sense? I don't really have a go at you. No, he's fine. He's also, I feel like this will be your grandfather that's with him as well, that they go down the path together. No. Granddad spirit side, please. No, you're alone. Both of them? Who's the lady next to you? Are you friends? No. Is your granddad spirit side, please? You'd understand this guy too? Or know of him because she spoke about him. Do you know him? Do your granddad like to drink every now and then? No. Well, he does now. <laughs> does this guy like to get a drink and all? Isn't that right? And he goes travelling with him. Yeah. Granddad's all right, by the way. Yes. Because you've been asking about him, haven't you? Yeah. He's all right. He says he's okay. He's happy now. He can walk about and he's happy. Yeah. His heart's better now and all. He's all right, you know that, don't you? <coughs> Can you start believing in yourself? 
Yeah. Because you don't. You look in that mirror and go, I ain't going out. And then you talk yourself out a lot of stuff, especially with this lady next to you as well. Yeah. You two need to go out for a good time. Because maybe you want to go with him, and your granddad is quite up for it now. <laughs> I feel like granddad missed out on quite a lot in life. Yeah. He worked hard, your granddad. And bless him, and he worked hard, but he never really had the recreational time to spend with his money. No. You know, so he's making up for it now, I promise you, that he's having a good old time. But you're the other way around. There's so much you want to do, but you need the money to do it. Yes. He said, bear with me, I'll make that happen. Because every now and then you find a random fiver. Yeah. Especially when you're doing your washing. In that right? Yes. True or false? True. Right. I like you. So, he says he drops it in there because that's the only time you ever look through your pockets when you're washing it. Because you've washed everything else that you never should have washed. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Have you got a son as well, please? Sons. Where's the little one, then? Oh. Um, he's not about the little one. Is he a bit like, um, a bit of a mummy boy, that one? Yeah. <laughs> he needs your love. He needs you to phone him up and chat with him. Are they grown up now? Yeah. Yeah. Even though they've been grown up and even been over like taller than me, they still need their money. Okay. So give them a bell. Because you were thinking about it earlier, weren't you? I'm going to see him tomorrow. Good. But you were going to ring him at four o'clock. And you didn't. No. You did. <laughs> so I get this, I explain it, I explain it. My guy sees telephone, I don't see texting. So if you text him and forgot, that's fine. But my guy always sees that the phone call. Uh, yeah, I understand that. I can find my second son at four past four. Okay, I'll look at that. I got it wrong. So that'll do. I'm happy with that. Does that make sense? Yes. This granddad wants to tell you I'm around. <laughs> and I want you to know that I am a, I'm around as well. Why do you have white curtains? No. What's to do with the white curtains thing? I don't know. They're not your curtains. Okay, I won't let you have them. <laughs> Forget that. But granddad's okay, alright? So he's going to leave his love with you. Thank Your you. mate here, he's alright too. He's going to come back with you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Have you started like a new relationship or in a relationship, please? That's good. <laughs> he said I did my best. It did work, did it? He won't happy with it. All about himself, not about you, love. So he'd been that one for you. You're welcome. All right? I'm going to leave his love with you. Right? Who's got the white curtains, please? Who's got white curtains up? Because that's a call. I know it's here, sorry. It's all right, that's been bad. I just want to know where the white curtains are. White curtains. Who's got the white curtains? Oh. And then, yeah. No? I don't believe you. I don't know. Is it you? Yeah. Are you sure? You're making it up. <laughs> white curtains. They're dodgy, aren't they? Not your normal things. I feel like you're like out there with colours, please. I got it. The lady that I've got coming through to you is so sweet as you're very quiet speaking. Do you understand? Yeah. I feel like she's my little pocket rocket. I could take her anyway. She's lovely. And as she looks at your curtain, she's like, why, 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 why? Yeah. She's proud of you, but you, I feel like you've lived within yourself for so many years and never came out. No, yeah. You say, I'm glad. That you're finally doing where or, or or walking the walk that you should be walking, she said. Mm, yeah. She said, because for all her life and everything that she went through, and I feel like a lot of people never even realised the amount of stuff that she had been through, please. Yeah, it's a bit more than Towards the end of her time or after her past living one many years. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. And she said, I don't want that for you. I don't want you to hold anything inside of here. I want you to be out there, she said, and that's more important. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that? Yeah, I do. I feel like she's been telling me lately that she's been hugging you quite a lot because your emotions have been all over the place. Right, right, yeah. I know. And as she does this, she hugs you and she says, you know what, I will fix anything I can, she says. Right. And she's got a little list of nine things that you want sorted out. Yeah. And I believe it's nine. Mm -hmm. okay. And I feel like with the nine things that she's working, and that she's not going to do the hardest one first, she's going to start doing the easier ones, please. Yeah. She wants you, I feel like, her worst view is, I want you to feel settled. I want you to feel happy and I want you to feel comfortable. And that's what I'm working on first. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. I don't want you to be crying anymore and I don't want you feeling upset within yourself. Mm -hmm. I want you just to be what I wish I had for myself. Yeah. Are you and Dad not talking very much or yeah. falling out again? <laughs> that's a bit of time. Yeah, okay. Because she makes me feel like with him and you and him, it's going to always be like that with battling, isn't it? Yeah, it is. 
You're never going to quite understand everything or, or, or want to understand as much as he can. That's what she tells us. And she says, don't worry about him. Um, worry about everyone else that's around you, that's giving you all this support and care. And also, you know, you have to just enjoy yourself. That's what she tells her. You'll feel bad all the time. She says, stop feeling bad and enjoy yourself. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Is it a doctor's appointment if you put off three times, please? Yeah, I've got both in my mouth. Okay. And she said, it's okay, three times is bad, she says, not good. They're never going to take you seriously in life, are they? No. no. But you're going tomorrow, because you just said that, I didn't say that, and nor did she, she heard you say that. She said, I'm going to come with you. She loved that sort of thing. And you know, she loved it, because she could sit in the waiting room and she'll know everyone, wouldn't she? <laughs> chat, 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 oh look, there's someone, there's someone, so you're like, wow, you go there, don't see no one. Isn't that right? Not one sausage, you know, and that's it. Ah, uh, she knows them all. She'll chat, chat, chat all day long. Yeah. So she said, I'll come with you. Maybe then you can start talking to somebody else. Yeah, that's good. Right. There's a magazine that you're, you're reading back to front, please. Uh, yeah, that's good. You start at the back cover mm. rather than the front cover. Yeah. She wants to know what's on the front rather than the back. <laughs> and can you go back to that one first? Who looked at the TV guide three weeks out of date for you and was sitting there waiting for a program? Because <laughs> I find that there. <laughs> uh, you know, like, I picked up a TV guide or in the newspaper and I thought, oh, I want to watch that. And I sat there waiting and it didn't come off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to embarrass you, but she's telling me she found that there. If she wants to cheer up, she ain't around you. <laughs> exactly. And she just said, she was sitting there waiting for this program. Oh, my. Um, and it never came on. You might get reruns, so don't worry about it, all right? <laughs> but she wants you to know that she wants to cheer you up. She wants you to feel more happy and pleased. Yeah. All right? And she's working on the nine things. Give her a bit of chance. Thank you. All right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Thanks. Good. And, I don't know if it's an Austrian one. Who had the little car? I wanted to go like a mini metro, but I don't think it was that. My dad did, yeah. Oh, yeah. it was a nightmare, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. He thought like he had the best car in the world, didn't he? Yeah, look at my car. Ooh. And then when I was sitting there, going, it's a bit small, isn't it? But you never told him, did you? No. 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 <laughs> exactly that. But anyway, that's him, isn't it? He's in his own little world, that's what she wants to say. Yeah, yeah. Let me be in his little world, you be in your world, and just mix and match when you need to, not all the time. No, no. Does that make sense? That's right. Don't you get upset about him, just let him be. Mm -hmm. All right? Because later on, he'll need you more than what you realise. Yeah. I don't know that, that's what she tells me. Mm -hmm. All right? And with that, I'm going to leave all I love with you. Is that all right? Thank you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Good. Guitar. Who had the guitar that's never played it but got it? Apart from me. Who picked up? Who got the guitar? Got all the kit, got the guitar, got the book, how I'm going to play it, got all the music, got everything, and I never even picked it up once. Where's that, please? Oh. Oh. Good. All the secrets are coming out of there, Jesus. Would you understand? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. I can't hear you. Put the bike to your mouth. No, it didn't work, did it? Hang on. Would you understand the guitar that you've never played, please? Yeah. But I feel like it's still in its case and it's there and it's ready. Pretty much. Right. <coughs> I like that. That's funny. <coughs> right. I feel like with yourself in life, I feel like you only tell people what you want them to know, please. Yeah. Okay. And then all the other stuff you just try and keep within your mind because you don't really want to tell people. Does that make sense? Yeah. I don't give away secrets much. <laughs> but I feel like you're confused with yourself, please. Pretty much. You have like your own personal battle with yourself every day. Yep. Every minute of the day as well. I feel like 11 o'clock is very important to you as well. I feel like 11 o'clock you always do the same thing every day, please. Pretty much. Is that true? Yep. Right. Um, I also feel that I have a gentleman that comes through and I feel like as a, at a bar, he admired you because you have the balls just to get on with stuff that you want to do. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm not saying that you're a selfish person, but if you're going to do something, you'll make sure that you'll do it well. Yeah. Good. And I feel like with him, there would have been something to do with his head, or I feel like I would have lost feeling in within my head, please. Yeah. Okay. I feel like the relationship with him wouldn't be like a brother, no? I would feel like it'd be like mum's brother or dad's brother. I feel like the uncle. Yeah, like a friend. Right, good. But I feel like he keeps saying the word uncle to me, please. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Right. Uncle. And I feel like, look, is that right? Yeah. And I feel like well, I've had this pain going on here, but he liked the fact that you just get on with stuff and not worry about everything in life. Yeah. Right. 
but I feel like lately you've been worrying about life a lot more than what you actually tell people, and I feel like in here there's a little bit of doom and gloom going on. Yeah. Right. He says, God take little rock. Did he used to call you a little rascal? Who called you a little rascal? Friend. Yeah. Pass? Yep. Yeah. Because as I was doing this, this other person just run on and went, oh, look, there's a little rascal. <laughs> <laughs> little scary man. That's funny. Was you like really minute and then you grew up? Yeah. Okay. I like that. That's funny. <laughs> Would you look at photos of when you were younger, please? I want to go to like the ages of between six and eight. That's how I feel I am. I feel like I've been looking at older photos of myself. Like, the reason I get this, I feel like I've been like looking at myself through the years and comparing myself to things. Oh yeah, no, that's right, a couple of months ago. Right. But I feel like going back, there was more happier times rather than times like here as well. Yeah. Right. And I also feel that with yourself, it's like there's a pair of trainers that you have that you just will not chuck away. I'll chuck them away the other day. Were they the ones with the hole in the bottom? I think so, yeah. And they were worn out? Yeah. A bit like me. Anyway. <laughs> So they got rid of them, so they were a bit behind, didn't they? Yeah. See, little rascal, but little There you go. But anyway, as your uncle comes through with your friends, I feel like your friends and you were like really tight, really close. Yeah. I feel like even now you think, oh, all the things are yeah. Okay, don't think like that because spiritually he's watching you and he wants you to get on with stuff. Does that make sense? Yeah, no. He says you're never really going to play that guitar, so you might as well drop it. <laughs> because I feel like I want a bit of money in my life as well. Yeah. Okay, I got that. But I feel like I want to set myself um, on things that I want to do now for myself as well. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So now you've got to start doing things that you want to do for yourself. I feel like you're doing everything else for other people and never for yourself. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. Good. He keeps showing me the old Dixon, you might remember that probably, I don't know, but would you remember like the Dixon shops, like the electrical shops, yeah. like Curry's? Yeah. Do you go in and out there window shopping or go in and out there looking? Window shopping? Okay. But do you look at cameras lately as well? No. What to do with cameras, please? I don't know. <laughs> because I feel like I want to stay around the camera section and the canvas <coughs> section, please. That's why I loiter. Ah, got it. When you go in the shop, you go in to see what you want to see. When you get back, before you leave, you're like texting, you're like chatting. They haven't quite left the shop. Okay. Does that make sense? No. Okay. <laughs> then I've got that bit wrong. Then it ain't your camera. Right, we'll leave your camera alone. Uh, it's not yours to act. You see? I got that. But one school person, that's you, right, your friend. Um, <coughs> would you understand you found that through somebody else, please? Of his passing. Yeah. You never found out for yourself. No. And I don't know how he passed because he won't tell me. It doesn't matter no more. Yeah. But he says, you know, it was better for you not to be there. Yeah. Does that understand? Yeah. And he wouldn't want you to have that memory within your mind. Yeah. Okay. I would rather you have the memory of us mucking about and being silly. Yeah. And you used to fall off your bike quite a bit too. Yeah. Right. And the thing was, though, you were busy like holding things or busy like carrying things on your bike as well. That's why you fell. Yeah. Right. And with him, no, no, he would never hold anything or carry anything because he would concentrate on his bike. Yeah. You always had the better bike than him. You always didn't have, right? In your head, you always thought he did better than you. In his head, you always did better than him. Yeah, very much. But you never told each other. No. Is that right? Yeah. I got that. That makes sense. Anyway, him and him want to say. We're going to keep an eye on you. We're going to watch your back now. Okay. And make sure that you're okay and that you start doing things that you want to do for yourself, please. Yep. All right? That's important, okay? Yep. Good stuff. And with that, I'm just going to leave that up with you. Is that all right? Yep. Cheers. Thank you very much. Right. Now, I want to talk about... Oh, what's that? <coughs> that voices now. Um, I want to talk about a camera. I want to talk about buying a camera. or I have a rule that I keep looking at it, admiring it, seeing it, but not buying it. I don't actually want to own it. But I just look at it. Oh, look at all the cameras and Who hate? I mean, probably all hate having your photo taken. But who's got to have their photo taken seriously? That was good. Got to that was good. The fire engine. I don't know if it's like a parcel photo or a photo that I got to have taken, please coming up and I hate my photo being taken. A what? No one? Oh, no, no, go, go. Where? Put your hand up. Hello. Would you understand the silly thing?
you know, is that I've always looked at cameras, but I never owned a camera properly. No. You had one? Yeah. Not that. I feel that's just a person here. Right. But you understand you've got your photos having to be taken soon? Yes. Right. Would you also understand that you just don't want to have it taken, but you have to have it done? Yes. Okay. Would you also understand, please? I feel like I want to talk about x rays as well. Who has the x ray for you? That's where I want to go. Has Dad passed for you? Yes. Right. Would you understand x rays with Dad? Not with Dad. With, right, my, with my husband. Past two. Oh, Dad. Oh, Dad. So, what does Dad? Dad? X rays? Yes. Would you understand camera name, please? Because I feel like I would look at them, but I never own it. But I'm, that's how I get it. Right. And you two are together. Mother and daughter? Yeah. Wait. So, but also, would you understand? I don't want to be rude, but would your weight have gone up and down, please? Yeah. Drastically. Right. And would you also understand I've been really upset about this? I'm worried about this, please. Yeah. Right. Not great, but that's what he's had now. Who's got the broken glasses <coughs> that I wear? But I have to sort of straighten them up to pop them on. Is that you? No, I've just got glasses like Like this? Go, yeah. Like trying to straighten them up to like work it out? Yeah. That's it. I got that. That makes sense. And please, would you get then... Did you used to talk to a goldfish as well, please? <laughs> yeah, you did. And I had the goldfish in my head going round and round and round going, and you used to talk to it all the time. Does that make sense? Yeah, not goldfish as such. But, but a fish? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if these are different. But I can see this fish going around. Well, yeah, we've had fish. But I would talk to him. I'd talk to him. Yeah. Okay. And I would check this fish and I'd tell him all about my day and, and say that I was okay. <laughs> yeah? Now, there's a reason for this because lately you've been talking out loud about them as well. Yeah. Okay? And they've been listening to you and wanting you to know that they're taking notes of what you said. Does that make sense? I feel like for yourself, you're either having a really good day or a bad day. There's no in between for you. No, I don't know if that's true. That's bad. Is that right? Yeah. I know. So I feel like this will be like a joint message between you. <coughs> but I feel like it's important to talk about you both. Does that make sense? Yeah. I feel like the conversation that I want to have is like between you both together as well. I feel like there's things that you both want to get off your chest, but you're not sure how to start. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So he's telling me that you need to then start having this conversation and getting it off your chest, please. You know? So it's not to be as bad as what you think. And I don't feel it's bad, but I just feel like I want to say what I need to say. Does that make sense? I got that. And please, would you understand? It's not annoying me, but the lady that would always think that she wanted to do her best for you, please. Does that make sense? I feel like she would go shopping with you, and she'll do things with you, and she'd try her best, but she, in your mind, a little bit horrible, but she was quite annoying. <laughs> it's like, you, you know, understand that. It's like, give me a break. Because, like, as much as I love you and, and I care about you, but you are annoying me now. Is that right? Okay. But in her heart, she, she just thought that she did her best because she just wanted to make sure that she would care for you in that way to make sure that you were okay. Does that make sense? Okay. And that's funny, right? Like that. That's very cool. And please, would you understand him um, with that and the x rays? But he never really let on how much it all worried him, really. Yeah, yeah. But you knew. You could read through him like a book. Yeah. And you said to him, oh, you know, come on, you'll be all right. And in his heart, he just knew he weren't going to be. But he listened to what you said. Does that make sense? Yeah. And when you were there and you were holding his hand and you said to him, you'll be all right. And he said, you were right. I am right. And I'm okay. He also feels like he didn't realise his work until he got to that side. That's what he tells me. And that's important to know as well. Who's David, please? It can be this side of life, don't have all have to die. Dave? No, I'm just Dave. Dave? Dave? Yeah. Do you call him Dave? David. David. Can he be like how the wind blows with him? Yeah. That's it. So that's the one I want to talk about. He's sort of like, he moves all over the place, aren't they? What's that? It's like how the wind blows with him. But you, like right, but you'll understand, that's how I get with him. Okay. Would you understand with him he's after a bit of money? Oh, yeah. So watch his hand. <laughs> because you know what you're like, oh, go on. And then you're waiting for it to go back and you don't go back. Does that make sense? 
So just be careful of that, okay? That's what he wants to tell you, alright? Yeah. But loves you both very dearly as well, alright? And then we've all had love with you, is that alright? Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Alright, yeah. Well, it's like a bus. You wait for ages, none, and you wait all the time, you get half a dozen. And they'll walk over this way, but you're all the last Oh, yeah. You can't see them anyway. Um, so you get them. Where are we going? Right, I think I'll put that on there. I feel like 10 past 8, I don't know if it's the morning or, or, or the evening, is the importance of the person that departs, please. I also feel like I was there, but I missed it by a minute. I feel like the time I got there, they've already gone. Um, but I feel like I was already there, though, within the, the place. I feel like it was Maybe a hospital, but I feel like I was in the place, I popped off, and then popped back, and then already passed. Oh, I can't understand. Did you get that? I don't feel like I'm a hospital, though. Yeah. Like hospice or, or, or something different. Okay, so I felt like it was quite nicely furnished, that's what I thought. Yeah. And, and you were there, and I feel like the, the way that I got it, like I popped off, I came back, and then passed. Yeah. Okay, would you understand 10 past 8, please? I know that's important, and I feel like for yourself, the first thing that this person does rushes to you and says, and as they grab your hand and they say to you, you know what, I'm going to help you get out of this. Sorry. Mm-hmm. I'll repeat. So the person here is like rushing along, grabs all your hands and says, don't worry, I'm going to help you get out of this. I'm going to help you out. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. I feel like, I don't know, but I just feel like everything's lately got on. Yeah, that's probably more massive stuff. That's oh, do you? Do you get that? Yeah. You, you'll understand this, because that, that's how I feel. Does that make sense? Okay. I also feel that with you two, you either talk to each other or there's been a bit of chatting. No, you're right. That's friendly. Who's the shouting one then? Is there another sister? We both shout. We've got, we've got three other sisters. Right, because I want to talk about the other sister and all that. Was she not meant to be here or another one that was thinking yeah, about that it? Was right. Sick. And that's the shouting yeah. one. Well, that's what I want to And I'll be honest, well, that's how I feel. Okay. And I want you to know that this person must have got so if you want to look up. Does that make sense? No. She always said that actually. So there's no point. Yeah, that was sort of weird. And it was just easier that way for me as well. Does that make sense? Yeah. Did that service all go wrong? She said, What a nightmare that was. Yeah, yeah. I made sure it didn't all. <laughs> you know what? She said, I used to make funerals. They were so miserable. Yeah. And I said, Well, I understand that. Of course, it's usual. She was like, I wouldn't mind any different. So I mucked it up. Yeah. I feel like the music was either played in the wrong order or just wasn't played properly. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. She said, I loved it. Much better. <laughs> but everyone else was like, oh, she wouldn't have liked that. She's like, yes, I would. Yes. It was better. Does that make sense? Yeah. She's laughing about how much weight she lost and all. <laughs> she said, I got my look. <laughs> I was all right. But everyone looks at it like, oh, that poor person, she lost so much weight. She loved it. She was fine. She don't care, is she? Hmm. Happy go lucky. Yeah. That's how you're normally are, aren't you? You haven't been lately, she tells me. Yeah. Yeah. Got yeah. to stop like not worrying about everything so much, she tells me. Yeah. But like she swore and all, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah, because she said not in church and all that. She said, I don't care. She said, some more the future. <laughs> and whoever it is that keeps giving you ear she just pop the phone down to <laughs> That's what I did. She would go to the door. When the door, but oh, I've got to go to someone at the door. Yes. Is that you? Oh, bless you, God. Don't ring her anymore, now. Anyway, I'm joking. But that's what she'd do. She'd ring the doorbell, she'd go, oh, I've got to go to someone at the door. She'd pop the phone down, she'd go, I've got to go watch me deadly now. Does that make sense? Yeah. Who recalls Jeremy Kyle? Yeah. Be honest. Yeah, that's Is that true? <laughs> and we watch it late one in the day. Bless you, little cotton top. She said, you want it to make yourself feel better, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> and you can compare yourself to some of these people. <laughs> Will that be true? Yes. Yeah. She sits there with you with a cup of tea, a biscuit, Jamaican cake, I don't know why that's important, but she'll, sit, she'll cut it up and she'll eat that with you and she'll watch that and go, oh yeah, that person, and she'll be enjoying it. So just know that when you think about her, she's loving it. Yeah. Everyone thinks poor her over that side, she's like, this is great. She can spy on you, she can do all this. Does that make sense? Yeah, thank you. I don't want to be rude, but she's telling me this because she finds it funny. Everyone else is in their ears. 
Which one walks around in their underwear with the curtains still open, please? Oh, the both of us. <laughs> Can we shut the curtains? <laughs> because the neighbours have been watching. She <laughs> said, before long, you'll have like your own Jeremy Carl show, and you'll all be on <laughs> As the underwear flushes. In that way. Yeah, yeah. And she said, I wouldn't mind, but if it matched, it would be better. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got the little gap? Uh, yeah, I have. You have. Yeah. You worry about her, don't you? Um, don't you? No. She's a little madam, but she's normal. Recently, I am. Yeah. yeah just you can be a little madam, but she's normal. She's nine weeks old. <laughs> she's a little madam. She keeps you up and down, up and down. Yeah, she has her moments. When you leave the room, she knows that she cries. Yeah. When you come back, she shuts up. Yeah. It didn't touch the ever. Yeah. And at night, she always wakes up about four o'clock. She does, actually. This lady's yeah. booting the cough. Did you tell her to stop? Get up. <laughs> oh, look, she's crying. <laughs> she doesn't care. She minds it funny. So I said what you just said, because I turned to stop and she went, what's the other thing we do? So I'm not getting in Thanks for trying. <laughs> well done. I do my best. I'll try. Did she come out of the blue? Oh, me man, or are you baby? Your baby. <laughs> because the way that she showed it, she yeah, didn't yeah, yeah, run the window and she didn't play yeah. that one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she did. <laughs> she said most of the time you all just turned up, they never all planned anyone really, did no. they? Exactly. No. And that's what's important. But you know that you know that she's going to be all right because she's got her looking after her, thank making you. sure she's all right. Okay, thank she's going to be absolutely fine. But stop worrying so much about her. No, thank you. Maybe the jelly little, but just allow her just to be herself. Yes, thank you. At four o'clock, enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like this little nine-week-old baby has got so much stuff. Yes. Loads of clothes. Yes. You can open your own baby shop. Yes. And. and I haven't even worn half of it, or even a quarter of it. I'm trying my best. No, but what you do, and nothing wrong with it, I'm not putting something, but she tells me that you wash it, put it back on, you're not using the other stuff. Yes. She says, I've got it. She said, before long, she's going to grow up, you're going to miss out on all that stuff, you might as well go and take it back from the receipt and get money. Yeah. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. You're a good mother as well, you're doing well. Oh, thank you very much. Stop reading books. I like reading books. Chuck them out the window. <laughs> oh, baby books. Yeah. Yeah. They have a book you can be Anyway, she said, just chuck all the baby books out the window, don't need them, just go with your instincts. Because you're doing wrong. Yeah, no, I, 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 I do it very away. much do it how I do it, I don't read them. Last thing, she keeps like, show me, mix up the milk like a chemistry set. There's a lot going on with milk. Um, I feel like it's more like a chemistry set going on. Yeah. Wait, wait. I might try to do a bit of baby brain. And a bit before she should have it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you read that, that's on page 62. But read that bit, that's more important. Okay, so it's not with all the chemistry sets and stuff. Okay. Alright, just focus on what you do. Okay. And just enjoy it, okay? Thank you. Don't enjoy being a mum, it's good, isn't it? Yes, I do. So. She popped around a random time, didn't she? <laughs> didn't you? Yeah. yeah, random. You don't, uninvited, she says. So, there you are, I'm not going to look and look. Oh, oh well, there's you again. It's like, like, it doesn't make sense. Like, it's nice, she likes this. Does that make sense? And she just watches and thinks it's funny. Does that make sense? Yeah. Who started smoking again? And tell everyone they're not. <laughs> no, no. They don't feel a lot <laughs> They got powers. No, they're not. Is that right? No. <laughs> I think that would be him. But she says, you know what? Don't trouble with them. Okay? Leave them alone. Don't be them. Alright? Just have a cup of tea and have a large. She liked to drink as well, didn't she? Oh, she did. Because well, she's having a large one now, she says. <coughs> and she liked to have a good old dance and all. Because <laughs> she's dancing now. Not very well, but she's dancing. <laughs> but I'm not going to tell her any different because I think she's having a go. So we leave her be. But she's ready for four o'clock, so get her head down in a minute. <laughs> Maybe you need to do that sooner than I open this light bulb. 24 hours, maybe. Yeah, so won't be long for you. All right? Thank you. But I'm going to leave all I love with you. Thanks so much. Thank yourself you. Yourself as well. Is that all right? Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, it's very, 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 very weird. Oh, okay, strange. 
Who likes driving their car like three, four in the morning? Three, four in the morning. Who's that? Random. I feel like it's time to shut a baby up or just to get away from it all. Three, four in the morning. Who's that? Come on, let me in. I'll let that. No one. Who's got grown up children now, but when they were little, I feel like that's what I've done. I'll be driving this car to keep them quiet. Can you do that, please? I feel like the dad is in heaven's side and the mum is still this side. But someone loves him. And I know that. And I feel like we've driven the car to keep kids quiet. And also driven the car to keep myself quiet. <coughs> so very good. Think about it for a bit, John. But if I speak to me, I never mind. I feel like with him it would have been like quite quick for him and his pastor would have been like for him it was quick for everyone else no, go the other way for everyone else it felt like it was quick for him he knew for quite a while and that's how I get it and I feel like I'm going to drive this car around as well please. you can understand please oh what? Betty. oh hello hello you alright? yes thank you oh. you don't understand the car? Right? Yeah. Did, did it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's worn at the bar go Anyway, you'd understand the driver of the car, please? Yes. Okay. And this would be your husband, please? Yes. Okay. Would you also understand that with him then, please? Lately, he's been showing himself a lot more. Yeah, he's been present. Right. Not exposing himself. No. Well, let me pray that. But showing himself around a bit more, knowing that he's around. Does that make sense? Yes, absolutely. Okay. And would you... Would you also understand that with him then as well, please, that he wants to let you know that, of course, I'll continue holding your hand. Yes, thank you. Because he never let go of it, did he? No. He was always proud of you. He always liked to show you off. And you always thought, you know what, how come I'm with him? But actually, he was always thinking that about you. True. I mean, because he always felt, you always felt, oh, he do so much better. Yeah. And he's thinking, God, I'm so lucky. Yeah. And I always have to hold your hand and show the world, look at her, I'm so happy and so good, you know? And even now, on his heavenly side, he holds your hand now and he just walks around with you because that's where you've got your pins and needles in your hand, please. Yes. I know. That's his way of, oh, it's his way of holding your hand to tell you that he's okay. All right? Yes. He also wants you to know your father heaven side too, please. Yes. Have like you been chatting with him? And your dad's been there for quite a while. That's right, yeah. I know. So your dad's helping him learning all the ropes, he says. Yeah, more than likely. No, he is. <laughs> and he said it's all right because even your dad must have drunk Guinness or they said it about him. That's right, okay. yeah, Guinness, yeah. And I feel like he wants to talk about, is it a good service <coughs> that you have, please? Type of, yeah. Right, because he, for him, this is like the best conservatory in the world. Right. That's what he says. Okay? So he just wants to tell you that he loves you very, very dearly. Um, and he misses you as much as you miss him because you keep saying that all the time. You say, are you okay? I miss you lot. And he replies, miss you too, but I'm still here. Can't you see me? Too true. Right. So now he's exposing himself in a nice way to you to say, I am here more and more and more. Thank you. Okay? I feel like electrical things that may, he may have had or electrical things that he's done, please, that you've had. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, they turn on and on. Why did I tell you? <laughs> Hold now. But he knows, and that's his thing, okay? Yes. So just know that that when he plays around with them, that's him. Thank you. Did he have a shed? Oh, yes. He loves his shed. Absolutely. No one's been in his shed. Don't go in his shed. Leave my shed as it is, because he knows what you're like. You'll interfere and change it all, but he won't find anything. <laughs> I know. So he said, just leave my shed alone. All right? Right, okay. Good stuff. And he just loves you very, very much, all right? <coughs> very much. And I'm going to leave all his love with you. Is that right? Yeah, thank, thank you, Graham. Ladies and gentlemen, I've come to the end of my time. We've got a nice break now for you for about 15 minutes. Um, and then this, the second half will be with Mr. Ivan Lee. So thank you very much.